because the, I was in Scotland, so the light was changing every three seconds, we couldn't actually almost chase the light on the red. The red didn't have the latitude to be able to chase the light. It would go up three stops. By the time you stopped down, it's gone down again. So you were, you were constantly changing that light. And I, I, I spoke to Red about it, and they said, no, 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 it's, it's very simple. You just put up, you put up this, you know, their vector scope. I can't remember what it is. There's something on the red that has three color layers. And you look at them, and then you correct them or whatever. And I said, well, how long is that going to take? And they said, well, about five minutes. And I thought, hold on, it takes me five minutes to get an exposure on a red, and I used to say to them, you know when I get the exposure on a, on a film camera? Normally when the board's going on. To take film out of the system at this stage seems, it just seems, it seems reducing the possibilities of us having the flexibility to do something creatively. That so you go and you light a scene on film, and you think, oh yeah, that, that, that looks pretty good, you know. And you come back and you watch the dailies, and you think, no, no, that looks really good. You know, there's, there's, there's a positive improvement when you actually come and see the dailies. There's a specific point of view about a film. So when you read a script, you imagine what it's going to look like, and you sit down with a director, or in this case with two directors, and go through a lot of visual references, whether they be art, whether they be cinema, uh, and, and have long, long, long protracted discussions about, about how you actually want, want it to look, those, those situations are sort of rare. I would love to sit there and say that we went to the Met and we looked at this picture and we studied that. And in fact, what, what tends to happen in, in my experience about the pre-production process in terms of getting to know a director or a script is that, is that one of the things that helps me actually decide about how it's going to look is really trying to spend the time with the director as a human being and understanding where they're coming from.